you go to the biggest display imaginable or you just have a few little rockets. The chemistry behind them, what goes into them, is surprisingly simple. So with fireworks, you will have a little wick at the bottom or a detonation device and that will give you the energy required for that firework to zoom up into the air. And the fuel in the case of fireworks is gunpowder. There's enough oxygen in the air for things to burn really readily, but in fireworks there are chemicals that increases the amount of oxygen in there, they're called oxidizers. So they provide oxygen to the fireworks, so when it's up in the air and doing its thing, it can burn incredibly bright. Metals are the things that give you those really bright bursts, those bright whites and silver starburst effects. Things like aluminium and magnesium metal, when they burn, they produce a really bright white, almost silvery flame. And if you want different colours, then you go for metal salts. When you burn them, they all give you different colours. If we just shoved stuff in a tube and lit it and hoped for the best, we wouldn't get a particularly good firework. So it's that controlled explosion and knowing exactly the sort of effects, the sort of colour, how high it's going to go, how loud the bang is going to be, and it's all to do with what gets packed into that tube.